This video presents an innovative design for trophectoderm biopsy without laser pulse by Professor Lee's group. A blastocyst biopsy is performed to obtain a reliable genetic diagnosis during in vitro fertilization cycles with pre-implantation genetic testing. Conventional trophectoderm biopsy methods usually involve laser pulses and pulling cells to dissect trophectoderm samples, a multi-step process that requires a long training process to master. Here, we present a simple trophectoderm biopsy method that is independent of laser pulses using innovatively designed micropipettes on blastocysts at different stages and with variable characteristics. The micropipettes have a set of innovative designs and were applied to accomplish a trophectoderm biopsy without laser pulses. Both of the biopsy pipette and the holding pipettes are characterized by a sharp and flat opening end. The holding pipette is designed with an inclined plane on the outer wall surface of its opening end, helping the biopsy pipette to attain contact with the holding pipette with greater stability to prevent slipping when detaching the trophectoderm cells. A narrow structure inside the biopsy pipette is designed to trap release fragments and prevent sample loss. Now, we will demonstrate the trophectoderm biopsy on various blastocysts using innovatively designed micropipettes. For a fully expanded blastocyst, first, artificial shrinkage of the blastocell is induced by applying one laser pulse. After the blastocyst collapses, position the blastocyst with the holding pipette and drill a hole in the zona pellucida using laser pulses. Next, carefully press the biopsy pipette against the hole and gently aspirate 5 to 10 cells. Release the blastocyst from the holding pipette. Tightly press the edge of the opening end of the biopsy pipette on the inclined plane of the holding pipette and directly flick the biopsy pipette. The biopsy fragment can be detached via the mechanical friction between the edges of the biopsy pipette and the holding pipette. Laser pulses and pulling of the trophectoderm cells are not required. Preloading the biopsy pipette with culture medium containing polyvinyl pyrrolidine helps alleviate the stickiness of biopsy fragments to the biopsy pipette. The biopsy of the eight-shaped hatching blastocyst is simple and fast. The detachment of trophectoderm cells with the direct flicking method is independent of pulling cells, thus allowing the trophectoderm cells to be aspirated into the biopsy pipette without securing the blastocyst by a holding pipette. This increases the flexibility to aspirate trophectoderm cells at a position far away from the inner cell mass, especially for hatching blastocysts with the inner cell mass herniated. The release fragment has been effectively trapped by the narrow structure inside the biopsy pipette. This innovative method greatly facilitates the biopsy of peanut-shaped hatching blastocysts and keeps the blastocysts from being completely pulled out of the zona pellucida. This method works best for a fully hatched blastocyst. In cases of conventional biopsy methods, the blastocyst needs to be strongly sucked and pulled by the holding pipette, during which potential mechanical damage may be caused to the trophectoderm cells that are no longer protected by the zona pellucida. The direct flicking method completely avoids the potential mechanical damage caused by the suction of the holding pipette. The learning curve of the direct flicking method on operation time was investigated. An average of seven biopsy cases are needed for skilled operators to master this novel biopsy method. We compared the biopsy outcomes of the conventional method and the direct flicking method. 
After the operators were sufficiently trained, the average biopsy time for the direct flicking method was significantly shorter than the conventional method. The example video shows the contrast to the time consumed for one trophectoderm biopsy on one hatched blastocyst via the conventional method and the direct flicking method. The biopsy using the direct flicking method costs 32 seconds. The conventional method costs 69 seconds. The narrow structure inside the biopsy pipette effectively prevents sample loss, showing a notably reduced sample loss rate among trainees compared to the conventional biopsy method. The direct flicking method is applicable for blastocysts at different stages and with different characteristics. The functional structures of micropipettes facilitate the successful detachment of trophectoderm cells via a single direct flicking procedure, thus notably simplifying operational steps and shortening the operation time. The direct flicking method eliminated the thermal damage of cells caused by laser pulses. The released sample fragments could be effectively trapped by a narrow structure inside the biopsy pipette thereby preventing sample loss, particularly for trainees. The novel designed micropipettes can be quite compatible with conventional trophectoderm biopsy methods while retaining the advantages of avoiding biopsy sample loss and minimizing the use of lasers.